telling you. You can't go wrong taking advice from me on what to wear. Back in the day, my fashion style was considered cutting edge by everyone in the academia. Really? Well, then, uh, sure, M Madame Farzan. Maybe you could pick out a few fashionable outfits for us. Farzan! Nilu! <gasps> Even Dia and Candace are here! What are you all up to? Candace and I bumped into these two while we were strolling through the streets. Madame Farzan here is pretty friendly. When she heard that we were buying clothes, she decided to give us some help. Hmm. I don't really see anything I'm familiar with. Never mind. We can purchase some textiles and make the clothes ourselves. Let's go with the plain fabric as our base. And broider red and pink flowers on. Oh, and some green leaves. Oh, wait a sec. Uh, you sure that's the latest style? That sounds a lot like what the older folks back home would wear. Don't worry. This style is a timeless classic. Uh, no thanks. This is actually sounding pretty weird. Wait, wait, wait. Madame Parzan's right. That style is a classic. and used to be mainstream fashion. But these days, there are some other options too. If you don't mind, how about I pick some clothes out for everyone? It's not often that we get to meet up, especially since Candace rarely makes it to Sumeru City. Also, I know a few places where I can get a great bargain. Sure. I'm happy to leave it to you. I'll come with you to have a look. One always has to keep on top of what the youth of today are into. Madame Farazan? Uh, come quick! She's over here! Hmm? Who are you? We're new in the Academia. We saw all the amazing things you did during the competition. Do you have any classes we could sign up for? Ahem. <clears throat> of course I do. And you're both very welcome to join. That's great! We can't wait. Um, what's your area of research? Precision mechanics? I'm from Haravatat. Uh-huh. But you seem like an expert in machines. Wait, sorry. I remember now. You were representing the Haravatat Darshan in the championship. Oh, their classes are so boring, though. I'm sorry, ma'am. Let me know if you run any other classes in the future. I'll be there! <laughs> I knew it. What about you? Aren't you going to leave with your friend? I think you're amazing, Madame Farazan. And I'd like to learn from you for a while, if possible. I can take the class you're teaching as an option, even though cross-darshan lessons might be a little tough to arrange. But I look forward to learning from you. I see. You're a good egg, child. Don't worry. Study under me and I promise you, you will get the best teaching available. Thank you so much, ma'am. Well, I won't disturb you any further. See you in class. I don't quite understand what happened there, but congratulations, I think. Traveler, Paimon, would you two like to come and pick out some clothes? We can't. We've got a meal with Kaveh later, and we have to check in with all the other contestants before then. Oh, by the way, have any of you seen Hat Guy or Layla? I don't know where Hat Guy went. We just saw Layla not too long ago, though. But she was hanging out with some other Ratahua students, so we didn't get a chance to speak with her. Are you gonna go and see what she's up to? Ratahua students? They must be the ones who voted for her to enter the competition, right? Oh, she didn't end up winning, so Paimon wonders how they feel about that. Let's go take a peek. I'm sorry, everyone. Hmm, I could have done better in the third round. Oh, stop it! If you're going to beat yourself up after doing as well as you did, how bad does that make us look, huh? Heck, it's not like any of us had the guts to enter the championship. I didn't see the whole thing, but you were the only contestant who scored points in both the first two rounds, right? And I heard that you actually found the diadem first in round three. <laughs> you came so close to winning the competition. 
Aw, I just got lucky, I think. That can't be true. You had some really stiff competition out there. The renowned Tainari from Amorta, even Sino the General Mahamatra was there. You're amazing, all of you. Getting points off them is a huge achievement. The way I see it, people aren't exaggerating one bit with the nicknames they give you. You are a genuine genius! Aw, oh, thanks a lot. But I really don't think I qualify as a genius. In the second round, for instance, I dozed off and somehow found myself beside the device when I came to. Ah, oh, come on, don't be so hard on yourself. We've decided we're taking you out to celebrate and that's final. Let's go! Cheer up, Layla. The rest of today's all about you. Looks like things are going well for Layla. This is great! Hmm. We haven't seen Hat Guy since the end of the competition. Eh, oh well. It's almost meal time. We'd better go meet up with Kaveh and Sino now. <laughs>